Pat Winters had already enjoyed multiple careers as beauty queen, model, actress, and even owner of her own real estate company. But she didn't find her true calling <clears throat> until she began Perfect Solutions, working out of her Sherman Oaks home. As Laurie said, the, sort of a Disneyland for cats. Now almost 15 years and thousands of cats and kittens later adopted out. Pat is still working 24-7. Even though she lives only a few minutes from Perry's place, it wasn't until our open house last spring that we could get Pat to take a break from caring for her own kitties to come and meet ours. You see, while she always has had the benefit of a small core group of volunteers, she tirelessly lives her mission all day, every day. Though in moments of exhaustion she talks about retirement, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Not as long as she can keep taking in and getting cats out and adopted into forever homes. We think that Perry's place is just about the most amazing sanctuary imaginable, but Pat's place is in its own way truly unique too. You see, Pat's house and property are totally designed around its feline residence, complete with spacious outdoor cat enclosures next to the pool. Pat Winters has toiled in the trenches for many years without fanfare, quietly, uh, or not always quietly, for she does have strong opinions, but never seeking accolades, all of which makes it all the more appropriate that she is our third unsung hero that we're honoring tonight. Pat, would you come up? kitties and doggies, and I grew up with a raccoon. I ended up in Laurel Canyon, and somebody dumped a white-faced gibbon ape on me, which I called Elvis because they walked the same way. And that ended with the canyon house burning to the ground, July 10th, 1959, and I became a valley girl. <laughs> Anyway, just heaven on earth is the next step for Pat Winter's rescue. When I can't do it anymore, that's where they're going. <laughs> Hello. Yes. It's done. That would be the next place the kitties go. But it's going to be awfully hard to get me out of my place. I have been there since 1963 on a little funky country street and not once in 15 years has a neighbor complained I have had never a bit of a problem because it smells like an orange blossom <laughs> good night thank you I'm totally blessed Thank you, thank you, Pat. What a great, great, oh my gosh. Okay.